Here's how to do gamepad input in GameMaker. I'm gonna open my project and first of all, I'm gonna make a new script asset. First of all, I'll define an empty array called gamepads. Next in the script, I'm gonna make a variable to store the main gamepad that will be used for gameplay. Then let's go back into the object and add a new event here under asynchronous called the async system event. So in the event, first of all, we're gonna get the index of the gamepad out of the map and store it in a local variable. Then we're gonna run a switch statement on the type of event that was fired. So in the case of gamepad discovered, we want to take the gamepad and add it to our array. So for that, I'm gonna use the array push function and the value that I'm adding is simply the gamepad index that I previously stored in the local variable. Now in the case of gamepad lost, we want to remove the gamepad from the array if it is in there. So I'll use the array get index function to find the position of the gamepad in the gamepads array. So if it is found, it's gonna be zero or higher. And when that is true, we are deleting that position from the array so that the gamepad is removed. Now at the end of the event, we want to make sure that the array has at least one gamepad. And after that, we're gonna set the main gamepad to the first one in the array. But if the array happens to be empty, then we set the main gamepad back to undefined. So let's go into the obj player object and open the step event. I'll take the main gamepad value into a local variable that's quicker to write and then make sure it's not undefined so a gamepad is connected. Then I'll set the acceleration input to a button on the gamepad which will be gp underscore shoulder rb. This is the right trigger. Next the turn input will be an axis on the gamepad which will be gp underscore axis lh which is the left stick's horizontal axis. Finally, the fire input will be the press of a button on the gamepad, which will be GP underscore face one. 